Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to Mountain Maid Creations. I'm Jill and I'm super excited to be on here with you guys today. Um, so today we're going to be playing in some resin and we're going to make some earrings. We're also going to resin some earrings that are already made that I made with napkins and scrapbook paper. So we're going to get started. I'm going to share this out to my group. So if you're new here, welcome to the group or welcome to my page. And I'm so glad you're here. Let me know where you're watching from, what you've been up to today, and all that fun stuff. And I'm going to share this out real quick. If you are watching on YouTube, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. It helps me grow. So, um, what have you guys been up to? It's been cold, cold the past couple days, but we've had really nice weather um up to now and next week the end of next week they're calling for 70s i'm so excited i am so so ready for spring and summer i'm over winter um i've been more sick this year than i have ever in my entire life it's just been crazy so all right guys let's get started all right so what i did before i hopped on here was I put my resin in a tub of hot water just like this and I do this because it minimizes bubbles and it makes it easier to work with it will also speed up your curing time that's the bad part is because you have to work faster usually 20 minutes is what you have to work with that I don't use UV resin I'm curious to try it again. I tried it before and didn't have good luck with it, so I may try that again. But for now, I'm using the um, Glacier Resin from A Maker Studio. And I can put the link in the comments if you'd like it. I'm not affiliated with them, but I do buy lots of their products. So I have, um, hey Stephanie, how are you? Um, so I'm using their resin. I love their resin. It has always, have always had good turnouts unless it was user error. So I stick with them because I know their resin and I love it. I'm also going to be using some acrylic paint and I have to show you all these earrings y'all. I did these on a wooden um, kind of like we did these the other day with wood burn and then I watercolored them. They're just on a blank wood round. I'm going to resin these and I'm telling you guys when you resin something like this it makes the colors pop. It's amazing. But I took some round wooden earrings and painted them white. Then I decoupaged this napkin on there. Y'all, how adorable is that bunny? I'm like eat up with these bunnies this year. It's so, so sweet. So I did the, um, I did these also. They are so, so cute. So I just decoupaged, I painted them white first because the napkin is pretty light and you would probably be able to see the wood through there. I know these bunnies are just adorable. So um, those were with napkins. Then I did some spring scrapbook paper. I just put the um, Mod Podge on here, let it dry, and then I put the scrapbook paper on it, and then I heated it with the heat press for just a few seconds, and it bonds it together, and you don't have to worry about like bubbles and wrinkles. I like doing it that way on my earrings. Um, especially with the napkins because they're so much thinner, but these are super cute. I did some stars and I did the round stars, but don't be like me. I didn't punch the hole, so I have no idea where the hole is on these. <laughs> so I'm going to have to kind of pull it apart to um, find out where the hole is to punch the hole. Yeah, don't be like me. We're also going to be using some sprinkles. These are like cupcake sprinkles, but they have some sprinkles in here that have bunnies on them. And they, I'm going to put these in a couple of the uh, molds with the resin. So I have these, all these molds I got from Etsy. And these, and then we have these. So I've had good luck with um, purchasing these on Etsy so far. So good. I also have a bunch of molds from Maker Studio. They have a lot. And it has like bunches of different earring types on there. I also have a pizza box back here and I have some um, the silicone mat in there and I use the pizza boxes to let them cure in because it has a lid and I don't want them to get dust on them so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up it's a two-part resin so you have to 
mix equal parts and it needs to be exactly equal parts because if you don't it won't cure correctly so just keep that in mind also you when you're when you're using resin you should use a mask i'm not going to because obviously i'm live with you guys and it would be hard for you to hear me but i would either open a window i have a ventilation system that that i have turned on and there's not really a strong odor with this resin that's another reason i like it so I haven't had any trouble with it, but always wear gloves, always wear a mask. Just protect yourself because it is a chemical, so you want to be safe. So I'm going to put it in this, it's a silicone measuring cup, and it has um, measurements on the side where I can tell how much resin, how much of equal parts that I have in here so that these will come out right. <laughs> because we want these to come out good so I'm gonna go ahead and put the first part in here let me do this so you can see and I'm holding it up so the light shines where I can see where the measurements are if you're wondering why I'm doing that and it doesn't take a lot of resin at all and so that's the first part and I'm telling you guys um, I've had tons of issues with bubbles with resin it's just one of those things it's it's just the enemy and I've tried everything and I'm getting better at that so hopefully um, it'll turn out good we won't have to worry about the bubbles I think I did that right let me see yeah that looks right this one's just thinner than the other one, so it makes me feel like I'm not putting enough in there. But, but I have not put the correct amount and it's caused issues. So that's that's why I say to use that. Now I have like popsicle sticks. I thought I pulled one out. And I'm gonna use a smaller one to stir this. And you need to stir it for three minutes or until it's not milky. So I'm just gonna kinda and the key, one key is to steer this, stir it slowly. Did you cut the wood yourself? No, I wish I did, Stephanie, but um, I purchased the wood earrings at, um, some of them came from Hobby Lobby and some from Amazon, but I don't have a way to cut them. I would love to one day have a glow forge, but it's not in my budget anytime soon. So I just buy them random places. Um, whenever I catch them on sale at Hobby Lobby, I'll get them there and Amazon. They're pretty cheap at Amazon also. So I'm just steering this really slow because if you stir it really fast, it's going to cause bubbles. And I'm telling you guys, bubbles are just no fun at all. So I'm just going to stir it really slow. This is the, the most tedious part because I'm very impatient and I like to do things quickly. <laughs> so this is just like, ah, uh, it's difficult for me to slow down enough to stir this really slow. And I kind of go in like a figure eight when I stir it. And um, also, let's see, what else is there? You can spray alcohol on your molds before you pour the resin in there. That will help also. Um, I'm, what I'm going to do is mix a little bit of white and put some of those sprinkles in. I'm going to put the sprinkles in first, I think. I don't know. I may put a layer of the resin first, just a little bit like a coating. Put the sprinkles on that and then put white behind that, I think is what I'm going to do. I think if I just put the sprinkles in first, it'll cause a texture to it when you when you demold them. So, And this, this has to cure for 24 hours. Sometimes it has to cure longer. It just depends on your temperature and... Um, where my craft room is, we, I'm downstairs, and um, it's cooler down here than it is upstairs. So what I do, once they're, once they're completed and they're put in my pizza box, I carry them upstairs and let them cure up there where it's warmer. Um, that was causing mine to take longer to cure before I figured it out. So yeah, I have, um, I've learned a lot in this process, a lot, and I'm still learning every time I do a batch it seems like I learn something new so I'm always learning and I just love trying new things so 
I'm um, also, if you are local, we, I'm set up or on the books for five vendor events so far, and I have a couple more to add. I've never done vendor events in the spring and summer before, so I'm excited about that. Usually it's just the fall. Um, so I'm really excited to do that. So April 8th, the Saturday before Easter, they're having a spring fling up at the Holiday in Tanglewood. And um, it's all local artisans. So you guys come check us out, support local. They're also doing, um, I think they're going to have a food truck. I'm not real sure about that. But they're having Easter egg hunts for the little ones. And they're putting money in some of the eggs. So come out and check it out. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then I'll be at another one down at the lake on the 22nd of April. And the rest of them, I have one in June, one in July, but I'm going to have to look at my calendar to see the exact dates because I've, I've gotten so many going on and I've got requests out for some. I'm waiting to hear back from the people at Vinton Dogwood Festival. I'm hoping to be able to go there, but I'm waiting to see. So I can still see a little bit of a cloud in there, but the it, there's not a ton of bubbles. So that's a good thing. Hopefully um, these are gonna turn out cute. So, and these, like I said, it takes 24 hours to cure. Um, I love making earrings. It's one of my favorite things to make. Um, I was making some more bunny earrings and I had some leopard and it's like faux fur and the mat that I, I cut them on my Cricut and the mat that I was using, it, it didn't have enough sticky to hold it because I should have had them on a fabric mat, but my fabric mats I need to replace. So it was, um, coming, coming loose on the mat and getting jammed up. So I had to just stop. So I ruined some of my material but I do still have some left because they're super cute. They were so popular last year. So I had to do them again this year. All right, guys. So I think we're looking good on the resin. Um, I don't know how much you guys can see in this lighting, but um, it looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with, um, I'm going to get some colors. And I just mix these up in these little, I don't even know where I got these, probably Dollar Tree. So we'll mix them in there, and I'll need another stick. Probably have to use the bigger ones. But I'm gonna use acrylic paint, and um, as long as you don't put too much in there, the last one I did, I put way too much in there, and it, it was the um, earring was real bendy. So don't put too much in there. So one thing I'm gonna do before I put the resin in here is I'm going to, um, spray them with alcohol, but um, it looks like glitter or something in there. There we go. All right, so I just have some alcohol and I'm going to spritz it in there because I'm going to put just a tiny, tiny bit of resin in these molds. I hope that you guys can see. It looks like so. So I'm just going to put like just a tiny bit and what I'm doing is I'm trying to get it where that um, there's no like texture from the sprinkles. So I'm just kind of putting like a coating and you really want to make sure you get around the little, the little stud thing that sticks up where your earring hole will be. Make sure you get it around there good because if you get a bubble right there, it'll mess up your hole and you, the earrings won't be any good. And I've done that too. And I'm going to have to wear my glasses because I cannot see very good without them. So I'm gonna, and I just completely didn't spray it, did I? Good grief. All right, so I'll spray it when I get this other one in there. So I'm just putting a tiny, tiny bit in here and I'm spreading it around because I'm gonna pour the sprinkles over into there and then I'm gonna go behind it with white. And I'm hoping it's gonna turn out. We're gonna see. I'm always picking up like cupcake sprinkles if I'm out and about, and if they're on sale or something like that. I'm constantly looking for stuff like this because it, you can resin pretty much anything. And um, so I'm always looking even on clearance, like 
you know, even if it's out of season, I'm still going to get them because, you know, you'll use them if you resin a lot. So I'm just going back behind that little post that sticks up right there because we don't want any bubbles in there. And I'm going to go ahead and spray this with a little spritz of alcohol just to get those, pop those bubbles. And I'm going to set this to the side and then I'm going to mix up some white. And I'm using a silicone mat. It's pretty dirty. I mean, it's like stained. So, um, but these are really good for resin because the resin just pops right off. So I'm going to put some resin in here and then I'm going to put one little drop of white. And let me, all right, I'm just going to put, um, and it's just, just like apple barrel white acrylic paint. So I just did one drop and I'm gonna stir it and see what that looks like. And if I put it on the stick and I can see through it, then I know I need some more paint. And, but I don't wanna use too much because then it will cause it not to cure correct. So. And that looks pretty good. So I'm going to leave that to the side. I'm going to bring this back because I think I need a little bit more. It's not covering at all because I'm trying not to use too much to fill it up before I can get the sprinkles in there. So I'm just pushing it around trying to get it all covered. And, and I'm also probably going to, um, because this side is the side that you're going to see when you demold your earrings is the bottom side, not the top, not the what you're looking at. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a lighter and pop some of these bubbles. Um, disclaimer, if you do this with a lighter, I'm not responsible if you catch anything on fire, so please be careful if you use that. You don't have to use a lighter. Um, there's all kinds of different ways, but that's just, that's just what I like to use. Um, I just have one of these lighters here. And so I'm just gonna go over it and pop those. You can actually see the bubbles popping when you do it. And so that's all I'm doing. And I'm gonna take some of these sprinkles. Well, I don't, it might help if I take all the wrapper off. Okay, and here we go. And I'm going to put a little bit in here, just so I can, y'all these are super cute. Look at these, how cute are they? So I'm gonna um, go ahead and put these in here. And then I can kind of move them around with toothpick. Super cute, you guys. All right, so now I'm just gonna take a toothpick and kind of move them around um, where they're not like all on top of each other. If this turns out, it's gonna be super cute, I'm telling you. I'm hoping it's gonna turn out. So I'm just kind of spreading them around because I don't want them to all be on top of each other. This one needs a few more. And that's just like a big glob. We don't want that in there. I can't believe that Easter's getting close. It's hard to believe that spring will be here Monday. It's crazy. But I'm loving it. Our trees and stuff budded up here on the mountain. That's rare for that to happen in March. All right, so now I'm going to go in 
And this is what I have, and I'm going to pour the white on top of that. And then I'm going to um, put these in the pizza box to cure. And I'm hoping that, um, that this white is white enough. Now I'm not so sure. But I didn't want to put too much paint in there because then it won't cure correct. So that's... And this is self-leveling, so it's going to level itself out. So um, at first, when you're using this, I would suggest using, you know, a lesser amount. And because you can always go back and put more. Kind of hard to take it out. But like I said, I've only got about 20 minutes before this starts curing. And, it, you know, warming it up a little bit makes that cure faster. So um, just keep that in mind if you do. And, and warming it up does help with bubbles, I think. And I'm hoping that this is going to show like a white background, but I'm not so sure it is because um, it was kind of sheer looking. So we'll just have to see. And if it doesn't look right, we can make them again. That's the awesome thing about crafting. You can just pretty much let, just get wild with your thoughts, how you want stuff to look. It's really up to you. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and sit this in the pizza box, but um, I'm going to go over it with the lighter real fast, and then I'll put it in there, and then I'll go over all of them again when I get them all done. Okay, so here's what we have so far. Now I'm going to put them in this pizza box and get started on another one. And like I said, that pizza box is really good for keeping the um, dust out. All right, so let me wipe that up before I get in that. And resin is messy, so you don't want to get it on your clothes because it will definitely ruin your clothes. So I think what I'm going to do is make some purple with that one. And I'm trying to leave enough to, to go over those earrings that I showed you guys in, in the beginning. So let's do some purple. And you can, like I said, you can pretty much put anything in your resin. It's really cool um, of what you can come up with. So I'm just going to put, this is this apple barrel purple, petunia purple, that I'm just going to put a drop in. Actually, I'm going to put two drops just to see. And if nothing else, I can add more. But you just want to be careful not to add too much. Because then your resin will be bendy and it just will not be good. So I'm going to put just another drop in there. Because I don't have a lot of resin in this little cup. So... Just get this stirred up, and then we'll put it in the mold and see what that turns out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pour it. These little cups bend up so I can make like a spout. So I'm just pouring them in there. And again, you want to make sure you get around that little post hole because that will definitely cause your um, earring hole to be messed up. If it, if it gets a bubble or something in there or it doesn't get enough resin behind it, it will make like a, a, a crack and then you won't be able to, you won't be able to um, put any, make them earrings because the hole will be damaged or a big hole in it. I just had that happen a few weeks ago. And when you're using colors, like if, you, if you're if you using a color that's not sheer, that also helps with bubbles. I, I mean, it, they're not as, um, you can't see them as well. So that's another reason I like it. And I didn't spray the mold 
with the alcohol. <laughs> oh my goodness. Too much going on. All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to go around that hole again just to be sure that we have resin back there. And then I'm going to go over it with the lighter and then I'll put it in the box. So let me show you what we have. There's what we have so far, and there, I do see lots of bubbles, so. Now, if you use alcohol ink, um, you won't be able to use the lighter because that's dangerous. So just don't use the lighter if you're using alcohol ink. All right, so I'm gonna set these back here in this box. And now I think what I'm gonna do on this next pair is I was looking at that green. Isn't that pretty? I think I'm gonna mix that with some resin and see what that looks like. I don't know what is up with this thing. There we go. I'm just going to like mix it up and see what it does. Oh, yeah, I think that's going to be super cute. So I'm just going to pour some resin in here and then I'm going to mix that green with it. Just to see what that looks like. Let's stir that up. I don't know what that is. All right. Yeah, I better not use that. I'm not sure if this is going to work. It's getting really thick when I stir it. <laughs> oh, my. I don't know. We're going to do it anyways just to see. It may not work out. It's kind of pretty though, that green. Let's add some of these other ones in there. Good grief. Maybe not, y'all. Okay, I can't get it to move, so let's just add some more green. I don't know what this is going to look like, but <laughs> it's like really thick. I don't even know if I can get it in there. We're going to try it. Can y'all see that? It's super thick. <laughs> uh, all right. So let's, I'm going to use my stick to put it in there because I'm not even sure if this is going to turn out. If it does, it'll be a miracle because it's, it is so thick. It doesn't even want to pour. I don't know. I like just trying new things, so we'll see what this turns out as. Hopefully, it'll turn out. I'll try to go live tomorrow and un unmold them with you. I know I've got to run some errands after church, but then after that, I should be able to hop on for a few minutes anyways. Um, so... I don't know, y'all. It might turn out really nice. We'll see. And I'm telling you, toothpicks are your best friend when you're doing resin. All right, so I'm going to just push this around that little tab back there just to make sure that it's covered. And then I'm going to try to clean this up a little bit because I think I have too much in there. And I'm just going to pretty much just dip the stick and try to get some out. And then let it, let it move itself around because it's self-leveling. So it should move itself around some. All right. So now I'm just going to go over it with a lighter. I'm 
I'm just cleaning up around the mold because I don't want any to like be sticking out like a flash. So we're just going to go over it with a lighter real quick, get those bubbles out. And then after I get them all in the box, I usually go back over everything again one more time. So I'm not really sure what that's going to look like, but hopefully it's going to look pretty. But I don't know. So that's what we have. All right, now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put some resin on these. And um, you wanna make sure that you don't get any resin in the hole, because then if you resin over that hole, you may have to drill it. And I've, I, can, I can drill it, it's not a problem, but sometimes it, it breaks the earring. So I try not to do it, but I do it. I mean, sometimes you just can't help it. So what I do is I just take it on the stick and pour it on the earring. And you don't wanna to get too much. So what I do once I pour it on the earring is I just move it around to the edge without going over the edge. And it usually will, it does pretty good about, you know, stopping right at the edge unless you just force it off the edge, but it usually won't go over. But if you have too much, it has to go off. It'll just go off the edge. And it's getting, the resin is starting to get thick now. So I may only be able to do a couple, which will be the bunnies because I think they're super cute. Um, I may have to get the resin back out tomorrow. I haven't used the resin in a while. Um, So but what I'm doing is I'm just pushing the resin with the stick all the way to the edge. And you can see where if it needs to go a little bit more, you can usually see it. And so I'm just kind of working it up the earring, going all the way around it. So I'm just, and I'm being real careful around that hole not to get the resin in the hole but I want to get all the, way, all the way around it without getting in it. That makes sense. And if you put too much resin, then it will, it, it, it will go in the hole, so. All right, whoops. So I'm going to just go over it with this lighter real quick, and then I'll put it in the box. So I'm gonna carefully pick this up. That's what we have. I don't wanna tilt it because it'll run off, but then I'm just gonna sit it down in this box. And then we'll start with this one. I hope that you guys can see pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna take it from the stick, pour it on the earring. And I don't want too much because then you'll have issues. So I'm just gonna pour it, or push it to the edge. And a toothpick is a great way to hold it down. Hold your earring while you're moving it around so that your earring doesn't move if it moves for you. So you just push it to the edge without going over. I think I need just a tad bit more. So I'm pushing it to the edge. And these are so fun to make. I'm telling you the resin really makes the scrapbook paper and the napkins or whatever you're using pop. I mean, it really brings out the colors. Um, it's amazing how pretty it is with resin on it. It's, it's really nice. All right, so let's... And you can see if it doesn't go all the way to the edge and you might have to go push it some more and that's perfectly okay to do. That's not gonna hurt it any at all. All right, so now let's move this over here. And 
And then we'll do these. And I think that that's all the time we're going to have on this resin because it's really starting to get thick. So we're going to see if I have, oh, well, yeah, I should have enough. But it's really thickening up. And that just makes it really hard to work with. Um, I just got that right in the middle. Let's get that out of there. All right, so now I'm just going to come over here and push it to the edge. And work all the way up the earring, just kind of moving it with the popsicle stick. You can do it with the toothpick too. Whatever you're comfortable with, um, it'll work. You just don't want to run it over the edge. And you don't want to put too much resin on there at once and um, have it run off because then that will mess the earring up. So I'm going to add a little bit more up here. And move it around. These little bunnies are adorable. And I've been working on more door hangers. I had I went and bought five rounds to work on more door hangers, and um, my sander died. So I've got to get a sander tomorrow to be able to get those done for these shows I have coming up. <laughs> it's always something. But this, you know, resin would even be not the the jewelry resin, but like the other, um, I have some other resin. I can't think of the name of it, but it comes in bigger bottles, like for big projects. And like if you do a door, uh, a porch leaner or something, or a door hanger, you could resin it if that would definitely protect it from the weather. And I may have to experiment with that and see because I think that would make it just, the colors just pop when you use resin. It's such a pretty um, finishing touch to it. And it's really, I really like resin. I like working with it. And I love this resin for jewelry. I think it works really good. I haven't seen any issues with it. All right, so I'm gonna go over these and put these in the box and then we'll be done. And you can also go over these with the lighter, like if they sit for a while before they start curing. I'm gonna see if I can get enough resin to do these sunflower earrings. I don't know if I will have enough, but these, um, I've done these before, and that yellow just pops with the resin on it. I don't know if I have enough. We're gonna see. It's just amazing what the resin does to the colors. It's, it's really nice. You see how thick it's getting. All right. So I'm going to move this around just like I did the other ones. It's really, um, when it starts getting thick, it's really hard to work with. But you can still do it. It's just a little bit more difficult. All right, so let's... some more these I love decorating these little wood cutouts I wish that I had a way to cut my own wood that would be awesome but I don't so for now we will continue to just buy the little cutouts all right now let's work on this one and then get this in the box and then we'll be pretty much done because I'm running out of resin and it's getting it's getting too thick to work with. But I really love working with the resin. I haven't had it out in so long. All 
a little bit more. Just going right to the edge and then being real careful around the earring hole not to get, trying not to get it in the hole. But you can drill it if that happens. But I broke a couple of earrings when I had to do that. So, all right, so I'm gonna hit this with the lighter. And then I'm gonna put these in the box and then I'll show you what we have so far. All right, so here's what we did. And so you saw the amount of resin that I used was, was nothing hardly. Um, so you can make a lot of earrings with this resin. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over these with the lighter. And um, pop some of these bubbles. And I'm gonna try go start with the first one that I did, which was the one with the candies in it. And this green one, I don't know what this green one's going to turn out like. I also have mica powders that um, Maker, A Maker Studio sells too, and those are really pretty. I don't, I don't know about the green one. I'm not sure. And there's like something in the center of the purple. I don't know what that is. Hopefully it'll turn out. So I just go over it with a lighter and pop those bubbles. And like I said, you can go back over it after, after it sits for a little while also. That will help too. Um, I think. Well, it must have just been the way the light was shining. I didn't think I had it all the way to the edge, but so far, so good, you guys. So that is what we have so far. I don't want to tilt it because I don't want the resin to run, but you can see what we did. Um, so we have six pairs of earrings, so that's not bad. So I hope you guys enjoyed this live, making some resin earrings. It's always fun working with resin and coming up with different techniques and all that fun stuff. So I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow and I'll probably hop on live tomorrow and show you, uh, we'll demold those and let you see what they look like tomorrow when they harden. So hopefully um, they'll turn out because I don't know about that green, the green with the the green sprinkles. I don't know. that It got really thick when I put that in there, so who knows? But anyways, you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for joining me today. It's been fun, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Y'all take care.